Good day folks, my name is David Wilpe from DIY Tech and today I am going to be teaching you about multitasking with the Arduino. Now some prerequisites, um, you're going to need to know how to get a stepper motor moving if you want to follow along. I'm using the CNC shield, um, I've got a different tutorial on my channel where you can learn how to control stepper motors if you're interested in that but um so we have the stepper motor we have a limit switch right here and you can see you know it's all working and all that um when i press this it moves the motor seems straightforward um but we're gonna do it in a little bit of a more advanced and robust way uh so the topic of today is multitasking reading the input from this continuously while controlling the motor state and that is very important for any time you want to do anything more complex than just you know a simple push button if this then that and let's get started alrighty oh by the way before we get too far in um, please leave a like and subscribe if you want to learn more about robotics, Arduinos, and programming. So, to begin, um, we're going to be using the Excel stepper library, which is responsible for ramping up the acceleration and deceleration of the motor. So, hashtag include, and then Excel stepper.h. Alrighty. And then we're going to create a new stepper motor in the code. So Excel stepper and we're going to name it X axis. Um, and it takes a few arguments. So one is the mode that the stepper motor is running in. Uh, you can check out the documentation on the Excel stepper classes on the website. So running in mode one full step mode um and then pin two and then pin five pin two is the step pin and pin five is the direction pin next we're going to enable the stepper motor driver so constant int in pin en pin that's for enable pin equals eight and pretty much when that pin is set to low the driver will be enabled when it's set to high the driver will be disabled okay so let's just put some comments enable pin alrighty and then limit switch which is for this so constant int limit equals 11 and the pin number I'm using the limit switch for the z-axis uh, which maps to pin 11 on the Arduino Uno um, in case you're wondering and this breadboard is just to reroute the wires okay so pin 11 okay limit switch All right, the next thing, we're gonna create a variable called the switch value. And we'll use it a little bit later. Oops, int switch val. And I'm gonna set that to zero. This variable is going to store the uh, status of the limit switch whether it's pressed or not whether it's on or off again um, this will be quite useful once we get a little bit further alrighty and then int Okay, so now we're gonna set two positions, one when it goes all the way and one when it goes back to the original position. 
Okay, so integer forward pause position equals let's just say 1500 and that's 1500 steps int home pause or I'll, I'll name it zero pause for zero position equals and guess what it is zero perfect next the setup this is where we let the Arduino know what's what so um, for the Excel stepper we need to pretty much establish a few things we need to set the maximum speed we need to set the acceleration and we also need to um, establish the speed so x-axis dot set max speed and then we pass the value let's say 900 okay so x-axis dot set acceleration and again let's set it to 900 okay and then x-axis dot set speed and again we're setting everything to 900 just for simplicity's sake now you know what let's make it a little faster 1000 all right 1000 1000 1000 Alrighty. so um, next pin mode enable pin output so we're setting the enable pin to output and then um, we're gonna write it low so digital write enable pin low uh, that's because we want to enable the driver it needs to be written to low in order for the driver to work okay next pin mode oops uh, limit and we're gonna do input pull up um, what this is is it enables the internal pull up resistor um, inside the Arduino so this switch is wired to the pin and ground and when the button is pressed it closes the circuit and the Arduino is able to detect when current is flowing to ground and that takes care of any issues like bouncing, debouncing and all that alrighty next so this is where we're going to um, do things a little bit differently from a lot of the Arduino code you see um, in a lot of tutorials you see every, you see people writing all of their code inside the main loop and that can get very messy very quickly uh, when you have large projects that are literally hundreds of lines long uh, you do not want to do everything in the loop so a better way to do it is to break it down into functions so how do we do that okay so let's just start with the limit switch for example we need to be able to read the value of the limit switch um, and depending on uh, what the value is we're going to store the value into this variable called switch value so void that's how you create a function in Arduino um, okay so void let's name it uh, read inputs okay that's the name of our function and then curly brackets all right and in here we're going to write something simple so switch file equals digital read limit okay so breaking this down we're setting the value of the switch file to whatever um, the value of the limit switch is when we perform a digital read on that pin which is pin 11 okay so now we can read the input that's all well and good but how do we use it well that's simple in the main loop function you simply put read inputs 
and like that the Arduino is able to read the inputs if we wanted to you know just see the value um, let me just put some quick debugging so um, serial dot begin 9600 just so you can see what's going on okay and then in here in the main loop I'm gonna delete this but this is just to show you that we're in fact reading okay so serial dot print line okay um, switch I'll, I'll put some curly brackets I mean some brackets switch value and then plus um, string and then switch val okay and that should work so let's go ahead and upload the code so you can see what's going on compiling uploading alrighty so serial monitor okay you can see switch file one when it's pressed switch file zero you can see it's responding in real time fantastic okay we can get rid of that and let's get rid of all this we don't need that for the meantime um, okay so we're able to read the input okay now we need to be able to control the motor so what do we do put it in the main loop no um, the only thing relating to the motor that we're going to directly put inside the main loop is um, x-axis dot run which will tell the motor to run to whatever position has been set um, and we're gonna do that in a different function so let's create a mode uh, um, a function called void run motor okay curly brackets enter enter now we're going to make this one a function where we can pass in a, an argument of a, a value so we're going to pass in an integer target position um, target pause and you you see what that is in a second so x-axis dot move to tar oops target pause all right now when we're calling this um, fun this run motor function we need to pass in an integer um, and that will pretty much set up this x-axis dot move to okay so we've got that written and finally we're going to need something to coordinate the interaction of all of this um, the motor and the limit switch so we're gonna make one more function called the multitasker so void multitasker okay curly brackets and here we're gonna have to do some logic okay so if I press this I want it to move to a certain position all right um, I want it to move to the forward position otherwise I want it to move to the zero position okay um, so let's write that in the code so if switch val which again we established here if switch val equals equals um, one run motor 
I'm gonna call the run motor function and then I'm gonna pass in a value and I want to pass in this value 1500 which is the forward pause so run motor forward pause and to the Arduino that's the same as saying 1500 okay else run motor and guess what we're gonna pass in zero pause okay and that with a semicolon and now we're gonna call the multi multitasker function from within the main loop so multitasker call that and voila so if we upload this everything should in theory work and it's a lot cleaner because it's a lot easier to do debugging on a single function rather than everything just inside the main loop and of course can minimize which also makes things nice and pretty so let's go ahead and upload that code oh Ooh, what did I do multitasker oh I expected a semicolon always the simple things okay if switch vowel alrighty typos will always get you let's see if I missed anything else uploading all right okay so it's reading one and now it's going in the opposite direction perfect and if I want to mix that up I'm gonna you know what let me not use numbers let me just do if by value it's low and you can see to the Arduino it's still gonna work whether you use one or zero low or high see that very easy to debug and as you can see if I want to set a new position let's say 3500 right um, all I have to do is change it up here and I don't even have to worry about you know changing it in 10 different places or wherever that is so folks there you go um, multitasking with the Arduino and doing it this way I can literally run multiple things I can have dozens of sensors and be able to get the values from those sensors and have them control outputs seamlessly and that's all I have for you today if you enjoyed that please 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 Leave a like, leave a comment. If you have any questions, subscribe and have a fantastic day.